Hey guys, welcome to Smack My Deck channel. Uh, we are going to be talking about the GPD WinMax 2, uh, in particular the AMD 6800U variant. And we're going to be talking about the Steam Deck and which machine is for you. Is it the Steam Deck or is it the GPD? So I'm going to go through positives first, and then I'm going to go through negatives, and then I'm going to go f uh, through a conclusion. Now, I own both machines. I've got no reason to like one over the other. I have no loyalty to either of these brands. They're just brands. They're just things that I buy. I like. I like technology. They're, they are things that I'm using. So these opinions are my own, just based on the you know how many devices I've had over the, over the years, how I've used them, how much I've used them. Uh, in regard to GPD, this is my seventh GPD device. Uh, previously, I, well, originally I started, I think, with a GPD XD. I then moved to the GPD Win, the GPD Win 2. Then I grabbed the GPD XD Plus. Um, so the XD and the XD Plus were Android devices. The rest were all Windows. Then after that, I grabbed the GPD Win Max, which I thought was a fantastic device. Uh, then the GPD Win Max 2021, which was even better. And now finally the GPD Win Max 2. Some of them are crowdfunded. Some are bought from like AliExpress or Geek Buying or random sites. But I, I did actually definitely the last three devices are, are definitely crowdfunded. Um, but in regard to the positives now, <coughs> sorry, pardon me. A little bit under the weather. Everyone in my house has got like a bit of a cough. So uh, pardon me about that. So the GPD Win Max 2 Plus is OK. First of all, bigger screen. The screen on this thing, honestly, like it's it's amazing. It's it's brilliant. When you're playing games on it, there's a big difference. Like it's it's like what's the best way to describe it? Once I started playing, like I was playing Resident Evil 2, I played Resident Evil 2 on this, and when I went back on my Steam Deck, it just I adjusted to the Steam Deck, but but it felt like going back from like I don't know, like a Samsung Galaxy Note to a regular phone or an iPhone. Uh, you know, iPhone 6 Plus phone to an order to an iPhone 6. Um, so that's that's one thing for it. The screen is really nice. Uh, it's up to 1600p. Default is set at 1200p, which I've left it. I think that's um, that's a that that that's actually a good resolution for it. Um, it's got a full keyboard, a full QWERTY keyboard, and guys, you know what? The keyboard is comfortable. Like I've had from the Win One, Win Two, Win Max. Okay, with the Win Max, the keyboard got better, but there was still something missing. Uh, in this one, for the size, honestly, they've they've got it bang on. It's it's brilliant. Um, there's obviously larger storage options available for this as well. So myself, I went for the two terabyte one. I just went all out with it. Again, uh, uh, more RAM, uh, uh, you know, more RAM available option is there. I went for the 32 gig, but I, I don't think it's required. I just I just went overkill. I thought maybe it will help with some of the production I do uh, for this channel and mainly my other channel, the Pixel Cherry Ninja channel. Um, OK, it's got a newer, more powerful processor, which I'm seeing now. So. In regard to like Horizon Zero Dawn, it ran badly on the Steam Deck, even though it was Steam Deck verified. I ran it on uh, the WinMax 2 and I was getting 60 frames per second in a crowded area. Uh, I only ran it for a few minutes, uh, but you know that that will be my handheld option of pay, um, uh, playing it. And the WinMax 2, it's got loads of ports. It's got Thunderbolt 4 port, Thunderbolt 3, sorry. It's got Thunderbolt ports anyway, um, USB 4, sorry. Can't can't remember, I think Intel's Thunderbolt 4. This one might be Thunderbolt 3. Uh, but it's anyway, it's got like two USB-C ports. It's got um, three USB-A ports, and it's got like a micro SD port, uh, and it's got a regular size uh, ID, um, regular size SD port as well. Um, Okay, the other thing is <laughs> you can hide the controller. So if you want to use it as like a work laptop and it is a viable work laptop, you can use it as a work laptop. And those little magnetic uh, things are amazing, man. They just slip into the back. They're not intrusive. Bang, you slap them on top. And honestly, it is hidden. If someone doesn't know the machine, there is no way to tell that there is like a controller hidden underneath there. Um, right. So there's more compatibility on the machine because because of it being Windows. So this is things like you can get Xbox Game Pass on there if you've got a subscription. Like I've got a subscription that my kid uses for the Xbox, but I access it as well because it is on my account. He uses it as like a, a like a secondary thing where I've left my main account on his. So it is initially under my account that I've had for like years from the days of the original Xbox. Um, so that that's one of the things. Stuff like Destiny 2 will work on this where it won't 
necessarily work on the Steam Deck. Um, and also stuff like uh, Easy, what is it, Easy Cheat. Um, that, that software doesn't go well on the Steam Deck. But again, no issues with Windows over here. Um, great for productivity. Uh, great cooling. The cooling on this, this thing is very good. Um, also, with the WinMax, it has a very strong Discord community. And, and the guys there are cool, man. Like, uh, there's a guy there in particular on there uh, called Cypher. Big shout out to you. Uh, he, creates, he creates batch files. Very, very helpful with the first two WinMaxes I had. Now, with the WinMax 2, uh, as soon as he, he gets his one, really looking forward to uh, what he kind of makes. But the community's strong. They're nice guys on there. Uh, I go in there, you know, randomly. I can't keep up with Discord, it's just too much, too many messages, but I do go on there, I post stuff, and they're all very helpful. Um, the other big advantage of the WinMax 2, it's easy to carry around. Like, guys, it's, it's easy. It just, it's small, it's clamshell. It actually fits in the case I had for the GPD WinMax and the WinMax 2021. Uh, that, that, that was slightly bigger. So this isn't much bigger than the WinMax, uh, the original WinMax. It's just, obviously, there's less bezel um and and it is a little bit bigger so yeah it's just it's a good size um okay uh one thing that i really <laughs> one of the main reasons that i got it is uh for, for for my main youtube channel sometimes i do retro stuff and believe it or not sometimes i actually stream while in bed i'm chilling in bed it's my day off work i want to lie down i want to relax i want to play a game and you know what i just whack the mic on and i just freestyle it and i play it i can also edit videos on there um so the productivity side again excellent um the joysticks on on these ones are really really good they're really good they're really good um they, they were good on the the original wind maxes but they were plastic uh so if you didn't have like if your hands were dry you wouldn't get the grip on there uh but these ones are rubber and and they're, they're good they're very very good uh as well as the joysticks the d-pad wow the d-pad's really really good it's a vita style d-pad and I've, I've i've always liked it um Okay, you can install SteamOS on this. Sorry, I've not researched it enough to know whether it's out or whether it's coming out, but I definitely saw some talk about that. Um, okay, runs Windows, which to some extent is a plus. I might have mentioned it already. Sorry, I've gone off a list. I might have put some of the points there again, but those are like the main points uh, that are good. And obviously, it's it's a hybrid machine. If you want a work machine that you can play on, then that's the WinMax 2. Right, moving over to the Steam Deck. Right, so the Steam Deck, uh, Valve's little baby. Honestly, this machine is just fantastic. Right, rather than having this video going round and round, let's just go over to the prices. So, first of all, the price. Man, it starts at £349. Like, that is an amazing price point. Two, uh, 256 model for 459 and I went for the 512 version. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Um, very, very comfortable to hold. When you're playing it in your hand, it's comfortable. Now, I'm not saying the WinMax isn't comfortable, especially when you're in bed or when you're kind of sat down. You can lean the bottom half of the clamshell um, on, on like your stomach, uh, which is good. With the Steam Deck, you might get a bit, a bit tired because you're holding it up and it, and it can give you like pins and needles after all. But generally, it's, it's comfortable. It feels like a pro controller when you're playing it. Um, the 512 model, honestly, the anti glare screen it comes with, it's amazing. I, I can't describe it enough in words. Like I've played it in places where there's a lot of lighting, like the reflections are min minimal. They're, they're not intrusive. Um, as soon as I got this uh, WinMax 2 or any of my previous ones, as soon as I went to the same area and played, I had to adjust uh, the way I was playing it slightly because I was getting a lot of reflection from lights in there uh, based on where I was playing it. Uh, the other thing with the Steam Deck, the optimization that that Valve do, oh man, it's it's second to none. Like it kind of creates shader caches, so it you know it, it runs the game more smooth, smoother. There's less waiting for you. It does a lot of stuff in the background to optimize uh, optimize the games. Uh, also, uh, the Steam Deck is just really easy to use. You 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 turn it on, you log into your Steam account, and that is pretty much it. Uh, you you're putting your Steam games on there. You're running it. Um, also, Valve have great customer service. So a friend of mine, his Steam Deck stopped working. When it stopped working, uh, he sent it back. This is in the UK, by the way, where the customer service isn't as good as the USA. But again, the whole from generating an RMA, um, sending it back and actually getting his Steam Deck or a different Steam Deck, whatever, but getting a Steam Deck back, the whole process took three weeks. Um, funny enough, I just went out to get some milk before shooting this video and... Um, and I saw my cousin on the way who's also got a Steam Deck. He's just started an RMA because he's, I think he damaged the, the right trigger button himself, but Valve have offered to uh, return it. 
for he's just generating an RMA is going through the process now but it seems like they're going to fix it or give him a new one um again the steam deck has great cooling as well i've had no issues with with it overheating or anything as such um there's great community stuff like like great community profiles uh, they're really they're, they're really really good like for example i was playing shadow of the tomb raider on there and the controls were really bad especially the right analog stick when you're aiming uh, but someone in the community i kind of went through the profiles which you just kind of tap a button you know you go in there it's all built into it downloaded a better control config that actually made it feel like the console game so some really really good stuff like that some really really good quality of life stuff the other thing uh the 40 hertz mode on uh, on on the steam deck wow like honestly wow like 30 30 games playing games at 30 fps i can usually see the 30 fps and i have an issue with them i've always aimed for 60 steam deck changed that for me there's some games that run on the steam deck at 40 fps honestly with the frame pacing they just they look absolutely brilliant you can't actually tell the 40 fps and you don't think that there's a low frame rate whatever they've done amazing job um the joystick and the buttons the joystick the, the joystick and the buttons i haven't mentioned d-pad joystick and the buttons on the steam deck are good uh, another thing parts are easily um available and if you really wanted to put windows on it uh you could so those are the positives uh for the steam deck now we're going to move on to the negatives for both right guys moving on to the negatives we'll start with uh the gpd winmax 2 first of all the price it's not cheap it's expensive now in the uk where our pound has has now become weaker against the dollar it's even more so the version that i got is this one here at the moment it was it would cost me 1164 i think my price when i got it because i actually woke up at 3 a.m uk time to order it when the indiegogo uh, orders opened it was 12.99 i'm pretty sure it was which at that time i think came to like like 10.50 or yeah it was it was less than 1100 pounds for sure uh so i think all in all after taxes and everything it's cost me under 1200 pounds uh for for this model or yeah or maybe around maybe around this price I can't, I can't remember the exact thing but it was definitely cheaper than what 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 this price is here um if we kind of scroll down to the entry level one that if you do want to get it is um yeah is the 6800u one terabyte 16 gig instead of the 32 gig and that's 905 uh, 905 pounds so that'll cost you the best part of a thousand pounds to get it so like if we if we look at steam the most expensive one here is is 569 for the top model so it depends on what you're going to use it for which i'll talk about in the conclusion at the end but first we're just going to go for all the negatives of that right now on the win max and in gpd consoles in general now this isn't a dig at gpd this is just based on my own experience and other people's experiences that i've read on on reddit and and i've seen people post on the gpd discord um the quality control isn't isn't great so if i went if i go back my to, to the devices that i've had from gpd the gpd xd was okay the the first win was okay the win 2 was okay the xd plus was okay now when i got the gpd win max the screen had ghosting uh, on it. it had it just had a ghosting effect and i think this issue was quite big there was lots of people that had it when i spoke to gpd they said it was like one percent it was definitely more than one percent but gpd did send me out a replacement screen uh, I, I sent them they asked me to send them a video what the screen ghosting was like I sent them a video they sent me a replacement screen uh, I didn't actually end up re replacing the screen only because the ghosting lasted like five ten minutes on and from a cold boot then then it was uh, then it was okay so I, I had the screen and when I sold it I gave it to the person I sold it to I said look if you have an issue with the screen you can uh, you can uh, use this screen on there um, but that's that's issues with like the quality control that they have now the other issue that I had was when I got my GP pd win max 2021 it came with a worm it came with a it came with a worm when i run a, a virus scanner on there this should not be happening but it happened so um always recommend with any gpd device fresh install every time when i even when i'm lazy and i can't be bothered doing it it's worth doing so i had to fresh install that which isn't nice because if you've now bought that device and you haven't run a virus check you're not super competent you've just 
added it to your network and it's it's just in, it's infected your whole network now because you've now got a worm on there no matter what gpd says so i don't care false positive whatever sort it out a worm should not be getting flagged up and it wasn't just me there was lots of users lots of users has it on the i had it on the gpd win max one i didn't have it on the win max one but i did have it on the win max 2021 edition now moving on to my gpd win max two uh, i want to put a, uh, a clip on screen when i edit it so hopefully you should be seeing it now uh, i didn't document it much because i was trying to fix it but when i didn't do a fresh install on there what i did was i connected it to my guest network so in case there was a worm it couldn't infect anything i started putting games and just running stuff on there every game i tried whether it was a super nintendo game on retro arch had stutter um bloodstained had stutter monster hunter world which is the game on screen it had really really bad stutter and i'm i'm reading windows 11 problems i'm trying to troubleshoot everything but going back to square one with gpd devices you have to do a fresh install so i've done a fresh install of windows 11 bang no issue since then my, my device is working absolutely great i've put on loads of games on there because uh, i'm going to be doing performance checks on there so i've put a whole bunch of games on there from the epic store from xbox game pass from our steam library so that's the that's the the lack of quality control now i don't know how widespread this is but there are a lot of issues on there and sometimes gpd are okay at dealing with them it's definitely a lot of hassle you don't want to send your item back and sometimes they, they ghost people a little bit from what from what, what i hear um okay um right so and the other thing the other negative about getting a gpd uh, or any gpd devices if something goes wrong you they, they may just send you a part you may not be competent enough to open it up and replace a joystick replace an ssd i don't know replace any component in there replace the whole keyboard so uh, again you know either either if you're good at opening up like small laptop and replacing components in there not everyone can do that i can't do it but i've got a friend and i've got a cousin that are into this stuff my cousin does like all my game boys he's modded like plenty of game boys for me so he's good with that so i know if i needed something done i've got options available for people that can help but if you haven't then you're kind of stuck they're going to send you a part uh, or you're going to send it back to um, uh, to China or Hong Kong and you're going to be waiting like I don't know I've heard horror stories of people waiting nine months and things getting lost but that's obviously one of the negative things about putting your trust um, in a company that's so far away so when it comes to repairs or anything like that it's, it's just difficult hopefully they'll get bigger in time and they'll have like international outlets or they'll have representatives abroad that will kind of do stuff for them um, okay so anyway moving on from like the business practices and their customer services and the lack of quality control um again this isn't me having a dig at them this is based on my experience and i'm being as honest as i can uh with this um so okay the, the device is definitely it's okay it's less comfortable and it's also not less comfortable depending on how you use it now it is a bigger device the, the the joypad isn't as comfortable as the steam deck one but for longer play sessions especially when i'm playing and streaming in bed like i mentioned uh you can rest the bottom half of the keyboard on your stomach and then it's it's up quite a bit uh but overall you know if you're just kind of playing it and holding it up it is definitely a little bit uncomfortable doable but not as comfortable as a steam deck or holding a controller um again like the screen it comes with is very reflective they've sent a screen protector with the win max 2 i'm not intending to put it on uh because it's a clamshell I, 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 don't, I don't feel like it needs one and also uh sometimes putting on a screen protector just makes the images a bit more dull so maybe i'll change my mind down the line but for now i'm not going to put it on there um yeah, I'm also sorry, I'm just getting from my notes. I also mentioned that yeah, that doing a fresh Windows install is, is probably something you're gonna have to do. Uh the face buttons on this thing are, are okay. Like like I said, the D-pad and the sticks are really good. Uh, but the face buttons are okay. I, I don't have an issue with them, but they're they they are not the best. They're not the best of buttons. Um also like you know, going back to like the customer services and the quality control, it is a little bit of a lottery you buying this. Uh depending, you know, are you gonna get a fully working unit unit? Um or is it going to be a bit of an iffy unit? And I've, I've put this point in the positive and the negative. Um, so I put positive, it runs Windows. I can also say negative, it runs Windows. Because Windows prone to viruses. It's it's quite bloaty. Uh, I, I'm not a big Windows fan. I use it. I use it every day. I use it for work. I use it, obviously, when I'm using my WinMax. And I'm, when, I'm, when I'm shooting this video, I'm doing it on a Windows machine. I use it. I'm not I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of it. So uh, that's really it for all the minuses on that. So let's move on to the Steam Deck and all the minuses for the Steam Deck. So, okay. So what are the cons? Okay. So first con, you've got no keyboard. 
All right, there's no there's no keyboard so when you're trying to do any productivity stuff you can't really do it if you're playing all the games which require some keyboard inputs okay it's doable but it's it's not great um the other biggest thing is it's it's, it's a hassle to run non steam stuff now i've got games on the epic store i've got games on different launchers on gog for example you know what i've just bought them on steam again because i just 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 you know if they're, if they're relatively cheap then i've just bought them on steam again because i can't be bothered going around into desktop mode putting the game on there installing it adding it adding it as a non-steam game then putting in all the work and then having to do all the optimization myself by putting in commands uh where in 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 in, in the game's uh properties so it launches with whatever whatever i tell it to launch with um so yeah it's a bit of a hassle playing anything else uh but with your steam stuff you, you're good with the steam stuff it's it's absolutely brilliant um okay it's only got one usb port which which i think i'd, I'd really think that's that's just silly you know at least have two on there so you can power it up and use something uh but i guess that's where the dot comes in but off off the bat it's only got one usb port um the on-screen keyboard obviously not having a physical keyboard on screen keyboard is is meh at best it's it's really not that great um another thing it's really it's really difficult man to fit in your bag like when i put it in my bag and like i take it to work it literally <coughs> sorry pardon me when i put it in my bag and i take it to work i literally can't put anything else in there like i have to be careful with my lunch i almost have to take a separate bag for it it's just it's just such an awkward shape obviously with the case on and everything as well so yeah, it's just the, yeah, it's just a difficult shape. It's easier for me to carry my full my, the, uh, my Zephyrus laptop, uh, which is a fourteen inch machine, um, and put that in my bag, uh, then uh, um, then then the Steam Deck. Uh, the, the 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 screen is smaller. It's not a small screen by any means. It's a decent size screen, but when playing it when playing the Win Max um, in comparison, it is a smaller screen. Um, Horizon, uh, what's what I mentioned, Horizon Zero, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. It performs it, it performs badly on there like there's no way i've tried it i've watched videos on there what the settings even though steam deck verified it dips a lot and and for me it's not worth playing it's not a good experience like you've got stuff like god of war spider-man uh days gone that they run really really well like you know some i would even say amazingly well horizon zero dawn isn't one of them it's not worth playing on a steam deck in my opinion if you think different let me know in the comments uh but it runs really well on the on the gpd win max 2 um also bad d-pad um uh, the d-pad okay it's not bad i can play like bloodstained on there but for example if i wanted to play a fighting game like street fighter it's not a good d-pad for that i i know d-pads i grew up playing on d-pads it's an okay d-pad it's not as bad as like the one x player d-pad which was complete trash but i would say it's in between that and the gpd d-pad it's not bad but i'm not going to play any fighting games on there um Okay, so another thing with the Steam Deck, it's difficult to upgrade the pass. If you wanted to open it up and do something, it is it is tough to do. Definitely a lot more difficult than the GPD um, WinMax 2, which is almost made for you to open it, provided you're competent enough. Uh, and then the advantages that I mentioned on the WinMax 2 are the disadvantages here. A lot of the games with easy anti-cheat don't work on there. Uh, so, for example, you could put Halo the Master Chief Collection on there, but you can't play that online, which is a big bummer because I really like playing Halo 3 and I like playing it online. Um, again, and destiny 2 is not working so you've got a lot of stuff that you've got is stuff that's n that's non-steam so you're not going to get game pass running on there so if you've got that subscription for your xbox you can't uh, your xbox you can't take advantage of running that on your steam deck but overall like they're both like good machines it depends on what your use is so just getting into the conclusion of this now so as far as uh conclusions go um right okay if you just want to play games if all you want to do is play games um just get the steam deck just get the steam deck uh it, like i said it's easier playing the steam games and you can't play the others but just for playing games man if you're like a console guy especially get the steam deck play it they've got good customer service there's a vast amount of games on there uh, once you do mess about and you put something like emulation station on there once you've done it once you've kind of done it and it's done and over with and there's good guides online that teach you how to use that but overall the experience is really really good um the win max okay it's pricier so the steam deck yeah great price like 349 starting i mean wow you, you can't go wrong with that but again i'd recommend getting a 512 which is 569 so the price on the steam deck the price on the win max 2 is expensive but if you want a machine if you want a small laptop that you're going to use for productivity uh, so this would have you would have to 
use it for productivity or for something else or for your work or as even a PC. If you need that laptop and you want to game on it, then yeah, the WinMax 2 is, is a very, very good viable option. Like for me, it's good because I'm going to edit my YouTube videos on there. I'm going to film videos on there. When I'm doing retro stuff, I'm going to live stream on there. I can take it out with me. Uh, I will use it more for productivity than I than I will for gaming because I still kind of prefer gaming on a Steam Deck where uh, where available. Um, yeah, so that's 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 really it. That's that's all I can say. Um, yeah, productivity win max two. But again, guys, remember it's a bit of a lottery. You might get a dud device. Customer service isn't great. Uh, you don't want to send your device back to China. You don't. You just don't want to go through the hassle of that sometimes. So buy it if you're if you're if you're if you're competent at opening up PCs and replacing components and you know doing a fresh install of Windows because not everyone's going to know how to get into the BIOS or how to kind of boot you know how to how to put fresh windows on you know the information's out there so it's relatively easy for some but for some people it's difficult if you're not tech savvy without a doubt steam deck if that's all you want to do is play games if you're quite tech savvy and you know you want to do other things on there and you want a pc uh, and you want if you want the covert fact that we can hide it and take it to work and make it look like you're working and you can play it's the winmax 2 they're both good devices i'm intending on keeping both i'm intending on uh, keeping um I'm going to use both of them for other stuff. I'll do be doing some videos on that. Anyway, guys, this was just my kind of thoughts uh, on, uh, on, on both the machines and the pluses and the minuses. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, the thumbs up and a subscription is really appreciated. Stay tuned to the channel because I'll mainly be doing GPD WinMax 2 performance checks because there's so much Steam Deck stuff out there. But if I find something interesting that I feel isn't covered on the Steam Deck, then I'll do that as well. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, Take care.